Hello, today we'll be taking a look at Fluency's customizable window layout. As you can see, there are a number of resource windows in Fluency, and each one of them can be moved around to different locations within Fluency independently. The first thing that we'll look at are the two default layouts that Fluency offers. These are found under the View menu within the Reset Window Layout section. You'll notice that we have an option to reset to a vertical layout, which looks like this. And we also have a horizontal layout, which is the default view, which we just saw earlier. Now, if you'd like to move these windows around and customize this even further, you can do this on a window by window basis. To do this, you'll move your mouse to the window that you'd like to move around. For this instance, we'll be moving the translation window. I'll put my mouse over top of the translation window tab and then I'll left click and hold and then I can move this window around the screen. If I let go, then I'll have a popped out view of my translation window. If I'd like to dock the translation window elsewhere, in this case we're going to dock it with um, directly underneath the target document. I'm going to left click and hold on the translation window again and you'll notice a number of arrows that appear on the screen. These arrows are docking points. If I drag my window to any of these docking points you'll notice the light blue shading is going to show me exactly where this window will be docked if I let go on any of these arrows. Now if I wanted to dock this with the target document I would use the center option. But I'm going to dock it directly below it so I'm going to use the down arrow and then I'll release my left mouse button. I've now successfully moved my translation window from the same field as the notes tab directly above that in between right below the target document. If I'd like to completely close a window, I can click on the X that's listed at the upper right hand corner of each window that can be closed. As I begin closing those, they will disappear from my screen. If I close Fluency and I open it again, they will still be missing. Um, if I need to open those again, I can do that one of two different ways. Under the View menu would be to locate each of the individual windows that I've closed in this section here. Each window has a corresponding listing in the View menu. When I click on any of those, you'll notice that that tab reappears. As you can imagine, if multiple windows have been closed, this can be somewhat tedious and repetitive. So what you can do is within the view menu, use one of the reset window layout options that we saw earlier. In this case, I'm going to select the horizontal layout. What you'll notice is that all of the default windows will be replaced in their original default location. Now you have a fresh template to start from. So feel free to play around with your window layout and come up with something that works specifically for you.